everyone, I am back with another video. This one is my frugal skincare routine. Um, I am pretty cheap when it comes to skincare, toiletries, makeup. Those are things that kind of just like kill me to spend a ton of money on. Um, so this is the routine that I've been using for quite a while. Um, and I will tell you the prices of everything. Um, they'll, be, they'll be listed in the description bar below. Um, none of this stuff was sent to me. It's all stuff that I buy, bought with my own money. Um, and you know, no one's paying me to say anything, um, which I'm sure you guys probably don't think. I don't have enough subscribers for anyone to want to like send me free products. So um, at the end of the video, there will be a giveaway. Um, so make sure to stay tuned for how to enter that giveaway. But um, in order to enter, you will need to follow my Instagram page. And um, just as a quick little side note, I want to let you guys know that I am working on more envelopes. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me if they could buy my envelopes. I wasn't really intending on selling them when I made that first video of how to make your own. I was more just telling you guys, you know, how to make your own. So a lot of you guys have said you wanted to buy some. Um, I couldn't find the exact paper that I was using in that video. Um, it was like in a paper pack and that was from years ago, so I don't think they make it anymore. But I did find some really cute prints. Uh, let me kind of show you some of them. So these are the sets that I'm working with right now. Um, these ones are kind of more neutral, um, but a lot of florals. And then we get into this really fun, um, like kind of tribal print pack with like a lot of cactuses. Um, keep going, lots of like bows and arrows and flowers. I just thought this one was super cute, so I hope you guys like it. I will try and find one similar to what I had before, but this is what I could find this time around. So yeah, a lot of you guys ask when those will be ready. Um, this is my last week of school before finals. Once finals are over, I will be able to hammer out those envelopes and get them on Etsy or some sort of shop site like that for you guys to buy. So thank you guys all so much for your interest in buying those envelopes and I will be sure to let you know once they're up. I'll, I'll mention it in a video for sure, but if you follow my Instagram, I'll make like a post whenever they're live and everything. So that's probably the easiest way to get like a real time update on when those envelopes are ready to be purchased. Okay, so without any further ado, we're gonna head straight into the video. I'm a little bit of background on my skin. Um, in high school, it was a lot worse than it is now. It's pretty manageable, but I'm definitely oily and acne prone. So if you guys are neither of those, this might not make a ton of sense for you, what I'm about to explain, but um, that is the kind of skin that I have. And I used to get really bad breakouts like around the chin area. I've never really gotten breakouts on my forehead, but around the chin is where I would break out the most. Um, that's pretty much where I break out still, um, but it's just not as bad. But my first step is an oil cleanse. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with that, but it's where you just use oil to remove your makeup. Um, and so I'm right now using jojoba oil, but I've used mineral oil, I've used extra virgin olive oil, I've used almond oil, and I, you know, can tolerate any of them, but that might not be the case for all of you. So I'm not including an oil in the giveaway, um, just so that, you know, I'm not proponent, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not including an oil in the giveaway just because I don't want to be giving you a product that could break you out or cause an issue so that's something you have to kind of try out on your own but I'm using jojoba oil without any problems but you know try whatever you want um I started out with baby oil from the dollar store they sell like a little container of it it's a dollar and it works just fine um you can use a cotton swab or not a cotton swab, a cotton round to kind of like wipe off the oil afterwards. You can use a towel, whatever you want. So that is the first step. And then um, I was walking through Walmart one day and I was looking, um, not necessarily for skin products, but I did see this bar that said sulfur on it. And I was like, okay, my skin responds well to sulfur. Let's see what this is. And it is just a bar of soap and it's sulfur based. And let me take it out for you. It's literally just a bar of soap and it says sulfur on it. <laughs> Um, and it, they have like a scent added to it to kind of make it not smell so bad because if you guys are familiar with sulfur products, you know that they don't smell great. Um, but I don't mind the smell of that stuff. And it works really, really well. I think it's $3 or something for a two pack on Amazon. So I got you guys one and I got me one to replace my old one that I've been using for over a year. I still have some of it left. It could probably last me another six months or so easily. 
but I decided to replace it since I was buying you guys one anyways. Um, so this one is mine now. <laughs> um, but I thought that stuff worked really well. My skin has been consistently pretty manageable for the last year, I'd say. So after um, you cleanse with the oil and cleanse with the soap, I go in with a toner and this is just witch hazel. The one that I am including in the giveaway will be an alcohol free version. This one has alcohol and you try and avoid that just because it's drying to the skin. Even if you have oily skin, you don't want to use products with alcohol on your skin because that will like overly dry it out and cause your skin to produce more oils. So I just use some witch hazel on like a cotton round and remove that last little bit of dirt and oil from your skin. And then the next step is moisturizer. I've had this tub for over a year. There's still some left in it. Not a ton, but I could get away with using it for probably another month. Um, but I'm including in the giveaway just this container of it. It is the CeraVe moisturizing cream. It's just like a super basic uh, moisturizer. It's not oily. It's not greasy. It you know absorbs really well into your skin and there's no fragrance. So hopefully you guys will like it. And then, you know, during the day, I always put on sunscreen. This is Biore UV Aqua Rich Watery Essence, and it's an SPF 50. I think they, they ship it from China or Korea or something like that. It takes a while to come in, so I order like a three pack at a time, but it's a great sunscreen. It doesn't leave your skin oily. It doesn't um, put like that white reflective film on your skin if you take like a photo with flash. Um, so I really like it. The SPF that's in your guys' makeup is not enough. Okay, so put sunscreen on. Um, that'll help with like hyperpigmentation from scars. It'll help your acne scars fade faster if they're not constantly just getting, you know, darkened by the sun. So definitely put on sunscreen every day. Um, in the morning, I don't usually cleanse. I'll just splash my face with some cold water or maybe just use the witch hazel. I just do the cleanser at night. I find that I don't really need it twice a day. I mean, all I do at night is sleep anyways. So between the nighttime cleaning and the morning, I don't really need to re-clean my skin. And then we will get into uh, the topical treatments and like the spot treatments. So this is by the brand De La Cruz and it is a sulfur ointment that you can use as like a spot treatment or you can use as like an all over face mask if you're just having some really um, problematic skin. But I'm including one of these in the giveaway. It does not smell great, you guys. I will just tell you that. It smells bad. <laughs> but it works. Like I've tried putting on a spot a couple nights in a row and next thing you know that spot is dried out. But what I like a little bit better is Hydrocolloid Bandages. This is just by the brand Band-Aid comes with three of these large bandages. This is the package I got myself, so I went ahead and opened it for you so you can see what it looks like. But it just comes with three of these bandages and they're meant for blisters. So if you have a blister like on the back of your heel, you put it on there and it basically sucks the liquid out of blisters. And it does the same thing for um, pimples. So what you would do, would you, you would cut out a piece of this bandage and just put it right on your pimple and sleep with it on and then the next day you peel it off and you can like see all of the gunk that the bandage like sucked up overnight. It's kind of disgusting but kind of fascinating at the same time. So that's like my secret weapon. If I have a friend that has like a giant pimple or something, I'll be like, girl, take one of these and put it on there and you will be super, super pleased with how it looks in the morning. So that is what I recommend for topical treatments. Um, my next tip is just going to be prevention. This isn't a, obviously it's not a product, but it's a really good way to save money on skincare. Sunscreen is so important. The more you protect your you protect your skin from the sun, the less you're going to need like anti-aging products in the future. But on that note, if any of you guys have any like anti-aging products that are you know affordable and economic that you like and you recommend, please leave them in the comments. I would like to incorporate more anti-aging stuff in my skincare routine. I'm getting older and I would rather prevent than treat in the future. So um, if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments. You also always want to take your makeup off at night. 
if you don't it's just all that makeup and stuff is sitting in your pores all night long so that's super not good for your skin make sure to take off your makeup if you're not leaving the house one day don't put makeup on like let your skin breathe as much as physically possible i work from home so a lot of times i don't put on makeup until like three o'clock in the afternoon or four um, and that's been really um, working well for my skin, just giving it a break from the makeup. And this also saves me money on makeup because there's days where I don't leave the house and I don't put makeup on. So it's effective and economical. So I recommend it. Also, another tip is to find out what is causing your acne. So if it's hormonal, that's the one thing that you can't really do a ton about. Sometimes going on birth control or switching birth control can help. I think when I was like 18 and I first got on birth control, it actually helped my acne. Um, it calmed down those hormones a little bit from what I found out. So that worked well for me. But also some people, they'll get breakouts when they eat too much sugar or they eat dairy or anything like that. So try like an elimination diet type thing to see if there's dietary causes for your acne. So that'll also cut down on your costs of topical treatments and, you know, expensive acne medications. If you could just keep it under control and then use, you know, products like this for maintenance, it's so much more affordable. So those are my skincare tips and my frugal skincare routine. I hope you guys really enjoyed. And for the giveaway, so I'm not doing the oil. Um, you guys would have to get that yourselves just because I don't know which one's going to work well with your skin. But I am including a bar of the sulfur soap, not this witch, witch hazel because it has alcohol, but another brand that does not have alcohol, the moisturizing cream, the uh, hydrocolloid bandages, and the sulfur ointments. So that is going to be um, the giveaway. Unfortunately, it has to be U.S. only. I can't afford to ship to other places, but um, anywhere in the U.S., I will go ahead and ship that to the winner. In order to enter, you do have to be following me on Instagram. You have to be following me on YouTube, of course, or subscribed. Um, you have to like this video and leave a comment on my post on Instagram about the giveaway. So if you do all those things, you will be entered to win. Today is Tuesday the 17th. And the giveaway will be closed um, next Tuesday at 11.59 p.m. So um, go ahead and enter. This is just like a little thank you for, it was supposed to be for 500 subscribers, but we hit that pretty early last week before I had these products in to, you know, get the video up. So um, I still don't have the Witch Hazel in, but I don't want to keep this video off any longer. We're rapidly approaching 1,000 subscribers, so... I just want to get this video up as a thank you for all of you guys um, for your subscribing and everything. So um, here is my Instagram username, since I didn't mention that earlier. <laughs> um, but go ahead and follow me there and go ahead and enter that giveaway. Thank you guys so much again for subscribing and thank you for watching. Bye.